Hello and welcome to The Humble Seer. So I want to do a reading on Ellen DeGeneres and Portia De Rossi. I think I'm saying that right. So I want to, I want to, oh my goodness, the cars want to talk already. All right, let's pull it up. Okay, well, oh my goodness. All right, so we have, that didn't take long, right? We have Three of Swords, Two of Swords. I feel they're splitting. I feel their the relationship is coming to an end. That's just what I see. But all right, so we've got some swords and wands on the table as it relates to their relationship, because that's the first question that I was going to ask. Their overall relationship. So we have Three of Swords which is heartache, divorce, separation. Yeah, I, I figured that when that came out. Then we have two of swords, equally matched, conformity, friendship, brave acts. Okay, that's interesting. And then we have three of wands, and that's uh, luck, opportunities. Okay, so it's fair to say that it's a relationship that can't hang on. It's hanging by a thread is what I'm hearing. It's hanging by a thread. And we all know a thread is, I mean, is it really even, I mean, it's going to, it's going to come down eventually, right? And that's what the three of swords represents. Just, it's, there's, and I feel that, I feel that, Portia, she sided with, so there was a lot of controversy around Ellen and how she treated people in general, her guests, the people, you know, that would come on the show. And, and, you know, I always, Ellen is funny to me. I mean, let me just say that, but I always felt that she had a cruel side to her just from my observation, the, the things that she would say to people and, you know, and I just felt that she was a cruel person. And it and, and that definitely came out that she just was abusive to her staff. And I believe that spills over into I don't I don't know if they said she was abusive to the people that came, you know, the different celebrities that came on to the show. But the people that would that come on to that show, I guess it's still it's still on. Um I don't know, because I, I don't watch the show, but I do know of Ellen. And like I say, she's funny. And I've seen clips of her in her show. But it's contractual. So the we have the three of wands here, right? That's about opportunities, product, teamwork. I feel that talks about, um, and we're getting away from their actual relationship, but I feel that that talks about the contractual relationship that uh, Ellen has with the people that come on the show. It's, it's, if they do it, I mean, the Hollywood world is a strange world that, that we can all probably agree on. It's a strange world and it breeds strange people, people that are insecure, um, have, may have had very poor upbringing, very bad, volatile family life, Maybe only had one sib one parent rather in the house, those kinds of things, just bad things you know that bring people to want to be um worshipped in love because well, they didn't get that in their home life but anyway the the people that come on the show, there is some sort of understanding or contract that they are in as part of the whole Hollywood world where they have to come on and be humiliated. I'm hearing even, um, you know, to keep going or to maintain their status. I mean, that's, that's, <clears throat> that's what I see. That's what I see. And that three of wands, you know, opportunities, uh, teamwork. So it's like, I see her, you know, they're working in a team environment in order to do that. And sometimes the people know what's going to happen and sometimes they don't. 
And it's like the celebrities that come on, they're always bracing themselves because they just don't know if they're going to walk out of there embarrassed or on, you know, or if they're going to be on the hot, they're going to be on the hot seat, but they just don't know, you know, <laughs> um, how hot, <coughs> excuse me, that seat is going to be. Forgive me, but I digress, but not really because the point in all of that was to talk about uh, Portia de Rossi and how she sided with these people that were, you know, um, treated poorly by Ellen, whether they were celebrities or uh, employees. She somehow um, was in agreement with a lot of what was being said. And that obviously rubbed Ellen the wrong way. But let's look at, let's, let's start with um, how does Ellen view Portia? How does Ellen view her? Okay. Let's pull from here. Okay, Ellen views her as the world. her everything. Ellen views her as her everything. But I hear that she is a cruel person. Ellen, Ellen is. But she views Portia as her everything. She is the world to her. Now let how does Portia view Ellen? How does Portia view Ellen? How does Portia view Ellen? Well, she views her as driven, revenge, uh, you know, somebody that's driven, that has to win, determined, wants victory, just wants to win at all costs. And by any means necessary. And I feel that I, I feel like sometimes Portia feels that she's just held, you know, that she just that she just can't do anything. That she's always under the microscope. I wouldn't be surprised. Ellen seems like the kind of person that would hire a private detective to follow Portia around. I just, you know, she just seems like that kind of person, right? That she would want to keep an eye on her because she is the world. She means the world to her, but not in the way that is loving. It's more of a controlling, you know, you're mine. I, I own you. That world of Portia is mine and you can't leave you can't go no it's going to be nasty but I do see them separating I do see that happening so anyway thanks for stopping by the humble seer and until next time you take good care bye